Hi everyone. Welcome back. I hope you have enjoyed my other videos. This video is going to be about making a simple mold for a fiberglass part. I've had many people email me and reach out to me and ask me to post more videos. But the fact is I have a real job that takes up a lot of time. And uh, I really enjoy what I do for a living. So this hobby can only take so much. So what we got to start out f with first here is you make a plug out of styrofoam and you need to really work it up to look exactly like the finished part. So you're going to have to fiberglass it, you're going to have to prime it, you're going to have to paint it, because when you make a mold, you're, you're going to pull a mold of exactly what you want it to look like. If you have any hair scratches or even a piece of hair that falls into your part, it will show up in the mold. The most important thing about getting mold rele uh, molds to re uh, release properly um, uh, from the plug is to make sure you've truly waxed and used PVA properly. First, you're going to mount your part to a piece of plexiglass, something that it will release easily from. It's very important, though, that you wax, wax, wax. Then you cut out a dam, and then you're going to put the dam on the plexiglass in the piece so that you're making one half of the mold first. You don't want to make one whole mold because you can't get your part out. So you've got to have a two-part mold in most cases. So I then take modeling clay, and I work around the back side of the plug to support the dam. Keep in mind, all you're going to do is make one half of a, a mold to start with. So once you've done that, you want to wax the wood, wax the plexiglass, wax the part again two or three times. Make sure that it really is just as slippery as it can be. And then you want to put the PVA on, a mist coat and then three heavier coats. Now I just take regular old Bondo and I'm going to very carefully work it around, end around any edges or grooves to make sure there's no air bubbles and then I'll spread it out. Once that's all done, let it cure for about an hour and then you can pop off the dam and this is one half of your mold. Leave the part in there. If you don't, when you put the goop on the next side, it will leak behind the part. So leave the part in the one half of the mold. Now, wax this really, really good. I got plexiglass, I've got one half of the mold, and I got my plug in there, wax this four or five times. And then you want to PVA it. And then let it, uh, you know, do the other half like you did the first half, pop them apart, pull the plug out, and you're gonna have your two halves here. Now you wanna take um, like three quarter ounce cloth, stick it in there as a first coat. Then you wanna put in two or three, uh, 3.75 ounce cloth and um, you won't have air bowls that way. Then you're gonna cut a couple of pieces of tape out of the fiberglass cloth and put the two mold halves together. And you wanna clamp it so that it's as tight as it can be. Then you're going to work in with resin the tape to join the seams. This seems complicated, but it's really easy once you've done it once or twice. I try to take some pictures and it's hard to see here, but I've already put two layers of tape in there because you want the tape to be almost as strong as the rest of the part, okay? But just work your resin down in there. Don't, don't get too much in there. You don't want to add any weight and just work it out. If you look here, it's hard to see, but there is the two layers of tape holding the two halves together. So then I set this aside and I let it cure, uh, normally a minimum four hours, sometimes overnight. And then I'll pop the two halves apart and you can see there's my perfect glass uh, part I needed to make. Then I'll pop it out of the other half. And uh, normally what I do is I wet sand it with 220 or 320 sandpaper and uh, put on a couple of mist coats of uh, primer uh, just to fill any pinholes and then start working the part. It's also a good idea to trial fit your part just one last time to make sure it truly fits. Um, you know, I'm kind of rushing through this, but I wanted to get this up because I've gotten so many emails and it's very late at night right now and I don't have a lot of time. Here is the uh, rough prime part. It will have uh, two more coats of uh, primers just, you know, flooded all over. Just put the primer on real thick, but sand all the primer off and then put a really thin coat of primer on and then your final base coat. Since this plane will be camouflage, that tail will either be um, a brown, green, or um, uh, a tan. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks, everyone.